Hey guys, Mystic Games here. Welcome back to my Subnautica playthrough. Honestly, this is not part of my playthrough. This is going to be a kind of review of the game. Um, I kind of gave my brief thoughts about the game at the end of my last video. Overall, I highly rate Subnautica. Um, it's an extremely beautiful and just entertaining game overall, I think. Um, but I did kind of want to do a formal review. Someone also commented that I should make a dead zone base, which I've actually never done before. So I actually came out here and I made a bunch of platforms leading out. Um, I need to go get the stuff for my large room and my multi-purpose rooms. Probably going to have two multi-purpose, like off the end of this, and then a large room. So... Um, for the review portion of what I'm talking about, simply put, I think everyone should play the game. If you haven't yet, it's definitely uh, very enjoyable to do so. And highly recommend it. Um, it's beautiful. There's diverse, um, different, you know, areas to go to. Um, the flaws, I think I spoke about, very few. Walking is very difficult uh, is what I'm going to use as the word comparatively to a lot of other games because the game is meant for you to be in the water in a sense um, so there are times where the ground will like legitimately glitch on you and you will fall through and stuff like that that's happened to me more than once um, I've also got stuck a couple times. Also, if you guys hear me like screaming, it's because I'm building a base in the, the dead zone, but I'm also building near a reaper. Like, there's like a reaper like right here. I did that on purpose, kind of. I wanted to build uh, so I could see the reaper. If you guys couldn't tell by my aquarium base episode, I like to have views of uh, different things. So we're going to build a room Honestly, I'm actually considering maybe I should build one of these first. Oop. Build some pipes here. Why is it not letting me up? Okay. Just to make sure we get out there. We are going to need a hatch. Is there quartz right, right, right around here in this area or no? There is if I mine. Which I can do. Um, where'd the Reaper go? There he is. I see him in the distance. That's some quartz down there, right? No, it's one of those stupid eye things. Let me uh, go get a hatch for this. Get the quartz for a hatch. So, anyway, short but sweet review, guys. Um, pretty much check out the game if you haven't. It's a pretty old game. I'm assuming most people here are just watching for the, the lulls of seeing me get attacked by uh, Leviathans and stuff. I played this years ago. So. But I am going to build this. This is kind of my last thing that I'm going to do. I think I'll throw a hatch on build one more of these and then we're probably going to build the large room and that should be put it on sideways I probably would always come in from this way right let me uh, change my beacon to I just put a beacon down to one of my bases so it gets a yellow oh I didn't have enough titanium. I don't know how far it's going to take for me to hit this dead zone. Let's check that out. 65. Alright. Not far. We're pretty much right there. We're on the crater's edge. Come on. 
Oh, hello there. So we want to... Alright. I'm actually... Is that going to attack me? No. Okay. I was like, I don't want to really lead it back to my ship before I'm finished building here. That would be problematic. Starts beating into my uh, Cyclops. So it's not far from the end. We'll probably build one of these off of this. And then build the large room off of the multi-purpose. Alright, the point is to not get killed... Can I center this? I don't think I can, right? It's either one way or the other. Yeah. Oh no, it's centered. We're gonna need gl oh, I don't think I brought glass, now that I'm thinking about it. I don't think I have any glass on me. I do have quartz, though. I'll just make a couple things. Do I have glass? I don't. Alright. Hey, Reaper on one side, Ghost Leviathan's on the other, right? That's how we play in this run through. Now, I gotta walk to the end of this, put two mere glass things on it, and see if I it counts as being in the dead zone that's going to be important for the, the whole purpose of the base. Warning. Yeah, that's, power we don't need air. We have the Cyclops. Oh, I can't... Okay. So I'm in the dead zone. Cool. So we need to get the glass that I brought. I don't know. If, did I bring lithium? I guess we'll find out, right? And being that we... Uh, I don't know how much that's going to weaken my haul either. I'm going to laugh. Is that going to attack the reaper? That just swam right into where the reaper is. Or does it despawn when it hits the... I, couldn't, I can't tell. We should probably get some power going, too. Two lithium. I'm probably going to build one of these. Just to make sure I have the reinforcement. Uh, I did bring extra lithium, I hope. Hilarious. I don't think I have lithium on me. I have like a ton of it back at my other base. I don't think I have any here. Well, you guys got the gist of what was going to happen there, I feel like, anyways. Uh, so, yeah. If you build a base in the dead uh, the dead zone, they apparently swim up and around you. I am going to finish this. This will probably be the last thing I do. Um, but that's pretty neat. I never really realized that you could do that. It does seem to spawn in even if you're inside a building. It just can't do anything. So, and there's a reaper right there. So, this is actually kind of a cool base location, but the aquarium base cannot be beat, and that's down there, so. Anyways, I appreciate you guys uh, watching the videos. I'm going to do a little, uh, 
outro here and say that I probably will play Subnautica 2. Um, the viewership's decent, and it's not like I'm getting super viewership or anything, but I'm pretty happy with the, the amount of people. I have, you know, people commenting, which I really appreciate everybody that comes back out and watches these. So, you know, I think I'll continue. I'll, I'm not as big of a fan as Subnautica 2, spoiler alert for everybody. I do slightly remember that game better than this one. The idea of being a survivor to me and the very loose storyline that you kind of have you follow in this was more appealing than the the next game so but yeah so s slight review slight base building but i'll kind of leave it with this if you guys haven't played this game yet um definitely check it out um it is a great game i'm excited to see where they go with subnautica 3 um as i kind of said in my last video i do wish they kind of had made dlc for this actually what I was going to recommend for the DLC, if I if I had the power, right, and I was the creator of this, I would have built, instead of having, like, the dead zone for the DLC, I would have put a landmass right on this edge of this land where all the Reapers are, and then on the crash zone, which is the other opposite, if you go, like, east from here, the crash zone's over there with the Aura. Um, I would have put two landmasses on the side with, like, floaters under them and did like connected but somewhat floating islands in a sense and then you would have had to make a smaller sub that you would need stuff from the lava zone of course because then you can't just bypass everything come over here and then stuff from this zone and there would be like you would be able to see a floating island or two floating islands off in the distance on each side maybe connected and they'd be like different biomes and they would have different fauna on them and stuff. And you would have to... There would be like enough space where... You would know it's there. Because maybe you get a marker from one of these zones. Once you have the correct sub or whatever. You're able to get in there. Or maybe even you need a, a tablet, right? Like a... Uh, I don't know. Let's say a red tablet or a white tablet. Or a pink tablet, you know. That you found in the, the last base in the lava zone. And you connect it to like a you know, an alien thing here, and it opens up, like, a whole nother area that would have just been for exploration, just to, you know, add a little more to the game. That being said, the game has a lot going for it. Um, I understand why they didn't do that, and I know they used a lot of their concepts they didn't use in this game in Subnautica 2. So, uh, my biggest hope for the next game is that they make more... Which they did in Subnautica 2, and I do appreciate this part. They did make more base building aspects to it. Um, I would like to be able to collect every egg for every fish in the game, too. So, they didn't do that in this one, and they didn't do it in 2. And I really wish they did. I don't... Again, I'm not a game designer. I feel like that shouldn't be that difficult. Once you have the ground for one, I feel like it wouldn't be that hard to do more eggs. Um, anyways, that's just my two cents, guys. If you haven't played Subnautica, definitely check it out. Highly recommended. Uh, if I were to give it a score, I'd say this is like a 9 out of 10 game. You know, pretty much just the, the little bit of glitching going on. You know, I think knocks it down from being like a perfect game. This game I could play and just mess around with for probably hours. Um, anyways, I appreciate you guys joining me on this journey again. Um, I hope you like the bu base building into the uh, <laughs> the deep here to upset everything and uh, get the ghost left by things upset. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the review. Anyways, have a good day. Mr. Game's out. I'll probably see you in the Subnautica 2. I'm also doing uh, some random other stuff, so you guys can always watch that too if that you know if you like variety stuff. Alright. Have a good one. Later guys.